That's done. Let's see what's in here. It's from the Funko. Let's open it while I'm here. If I could destroy the box. Well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start keeping the boxes because in case we do move, I need somewhere to package them up. So I'm trying not to go to the because it's gonna sharp. This could, I just opened it right now. Let's see. Cover the reflection. Oh, that's so cute. And this and that. Focus. Okay. Super stoked because I've been waiting for this package to come in because the other one I showed you out the one with um the Sailor Moon one, the Chibi Moon. And Dark came in. And I bought this one before that one, but it came in. So that's so cool. Look at this. this is like a little tiny box, but I'm so excited. Yay! My first is I'm trying to get out. Well, I'm about to get out, but this guy's really feeding. I'm trying to look like a badass over here. I'm making this guy trying to look like a badass because he's in a little golf cart and he has like the little remote to open the gate. Mm -mm -mm. Well, like I showed y'all, I just got the package, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, <sighs> that's my like only, ugh, that's my only weakness is uh, collecting the Funko stuff. Man, my hair's a mess because I'm recording on my phone because I was like, I left my bag in the car, so my camera's in the car too. But, um, yeah, I look like a mess. My hair's everywhere. So, I woke up a while ago. I took the girls. I took Leia outside and I was with the girls mingling. And I started watching this movie, Coco. Because my, my brother let me borrow it. But I was like, you know what? I might as well just go watch it with my mom. I know she's seen it, but I want to watch it. like, Because I've seen it too. But I haven't seen it like good quality. Because I saw it like bootleg. And um, it was weird but it was a good movie i mean overall it's just mainly the quality that i was watching but um yeah like i don't know why i should have just gone in the gate and then went around because i hate having to go all the way down and then making a big old turn just to go to my mom's but um it looks like the weather is so gloomy outside it looks like it's about to rain but um my brother said he wanted to do um make plans to go take harley somewhere for spring break because he hasn't gone anywhere but technically yesterday he went to the park with us but as in for him to take them but by the looks of it because it looks like it's gonna rain it looks like it's not gonna happen but either way I want to go there because my mom has a movie um that I want to watch it's called Fernand or something like that with the bull it's a cartoon movie too but it's the bull and stuff it's a bull, but I don't know what, what is it about or anything, but I kept just seeing little bits and pieces of trailers for the film, and I really, I really like, um, Disney, Pixar related films, so I want to see if she wants to watch it while we're there, which will be pretty, it'll be pretty cool, but, um, yeah, we'll see what we get into when we go there, if we end up doing anything or not, but, um, I was just so excited to get the dang patch package because I kept looking up the, um, the tracking number and everything and then finally like I thought I was like you know what maybe nothing but usually um, if it comes in it'll come in and if it don't fit which that package would have fit in the mailbox like the one that we have out like where regular mail comes in but they end up putting it in this like safe room where it's for you have to use a certain code 
to actually receive the package and stuff. It's, it's secure, yeah. But I'll like, usually they use that room whenever there's a package that doesn't fit in the actual mailbox outside. But either way, I, I like it because it's actually safe and they don't have to handle it like they usually would at the complex because that's one of my issues before was that, um, that you would go and you're like, I don't have my mail, where is it at? And then you contact the company, but it's not the company's fault. It's actually the complex that holds all your packages in their office and someone could just walk in and get whatever the hell you have in there. So I, I like the fact that the way they did it now. But, um, but it's just a hassle sometimes because then um, you need, because they have it in like their gym. In the gym area where they have like a Pilates area, well the yoga room, gym room, and then they have like the, where they don't have events and stuff, they made it into like a, um, I don't know, Mel, Mel thing, I don't know, Mel area, advanced Mel area, I don't know what to call it, they have, it's cause this, the company switch names, so they're switching all the signs and stuff, but um, but yeah, I was so excited. Um, hopefully she wants to watch that movie. If not, I'm just gonna hang out with them and see. I want to see for sure if my brother got the watch because yesterday he kept telling me what's good all about the Apple Watch and all that stuff because I had the first ever one that came out. I had that when I had got it right when it came out and everything back in. I don't even know what year, 2015 or something. I don't remember what year it came out. And then um, ever since then, I've always had my watch on. And then the only time I did not use it was when I was living in Pasadena because. I was literally always there, and if I go out, I'll put it on, but, um, since we left over there, I'm like, I have not took it off, and then when the watch 2 came out, I wasn't really, really into it, I was like, eh, I was like, whatever, it's just the same thing, whatever, it's just a little bit faster, or whatever, so, then whenever the watch 3 came out, and it said cellular, and all the stuff, I was really intrigued, but, um, I really like it. I don't take it off. I can't go anywhere without it. The only thing is, I want to get a bat, a, a, a black band, but I think I have two, so I'll probably get the black band that I have at home to put it with the rose gold because I have the rose gold. So I'll probably do that, and then uh, oh, the ring started. So I'll put black and rose gold because I wear black like a lot. Like I know I wear black, gray, and burgundy all the time never fails so i want the the black band but i actually want to look into getting the some company here in houston um their name is easy wireless in houston basically they um they announced on instagram saying that they brought out watch bands for the 42 or 38 or whatever um but it's designer um bands for the apple watch they have Gucci and Louis Vuitton, two different styles, one with the monogram, the LV, and the other one has that, like, the checker pattern and stuff. So I was like, hmm. But they're like, they're at the price of like, the, I guess the most expensive band in, no, not the most expensive, but up there, like the Apple Watch, like, they, he said, he announced on there that they're authentic leather, like, whatever designer had, um, wristbands for the watch. They're going for 150, and this is not me. Like I didn't get like paid or anything just to like talk about them, but I really, um, I was really intrigued by that. I was like, I like um, what they stand for and what they do. So I was like, that's pretty cool that they got those bands because recently he had brought, announced that he had some Gucci ones. Well, it looked like Gucci. I don't know if they're actually Gucci because they have the same colors and stuff. But I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'll probably consider on getting one of those but I really want to get the I don't know if y'all know about the band um uh, what's it called it's magnetic but it kind of feels like um I was gonna say velvet uh it feels like suede but it's magnetic and that one I wanted to get in like kind of the the color of the band that I have which looks white on camera but it's kind of like a a, a beige or something God, this car is not letting me slide over. But yeah, I want to see. That's what I'm like. Going, like everything is funny because um, 
just going off on a tangent like I'm just talking off but uh, that's one thing I'm really like interested in he's gonna get it because he's gonna get the black aluminum one so if he got it then I can like you know teach him you know because it's funny because um, my friend got one and I convinced him to get one I mean a lot of people are against it like I tell him I tell him my pros and cons and then they decide like because I always tell them go to the actual store and play with it get accustomed to it feel it how it feels like it's gonna feel weird but eventually you have it on all the time the day you don't have it on you're gonna be like oh my gosh like you need it so I don't know to me personally personal like y'all could say which I want to say but personally I like my watch and I use it a lot and not only to like get notifications from emails and like when I pay bills, I get a notification there. When I'm, I'm buying something, I get a notification from my bank on there. So I use it a lot, like I do use it. And there's days that I might not, but I still use it because I track my activity. So it could like motivate me to keep moving and being active basically. So overall, I use it and I have, I don't know. I hope he did get it because he was just like really like, oh no. Let me know below. Let me know below because I'm like, it's already like I'm looking at the camera and it says like nine, ten minutes. But let me know below if y'all do like the Apple Watch. Like if y'all have one, tell me y'all personal experience if y'all actually like it or not. Because um, I know a lot of people switch to Android and got like the Google Watch and all that stuff, Google Smart Watch. I don't know what's it called, but um, yeah, let me know below whether you prefer Apple or Android or what watch that works better for you. Because a lot of people didn't even get the Apple Watch and at that Google Watch. They end up getting like this um, watch from Fossil or something. I don't even know. But yeah, let me know what works better for you and how do you use it. But with that being said, I'll see y'all over there. I know I'm going to have to chop it up this video because it's so long. But I'll see y'all over there. Oh, never mind. Guess where we're at? We're at Marshall. Check it out. I haven't seen my mom, so... I'm over here in the kids area looking for books for Harley and I actually really 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 like this one with the owl. There's a three little monkeys, five little monkeys, but he already has this one and I'm trying to look for a book for him because he's starting to really like books. So, trying to see what I could get him. Look at that. Oh. How much is it first? Why am I getting all these other? Oh my gosh, this one's it. I'll probably just get this one. It costs three hundred and sixty-five bedtime stories and rhymes. Meaning you can read one every day of the year. That is awesome. But I don't know who's going to be into it. I want to show y'all this real quick. But I really was interested. Because this is how I'm right now. But I was looking at this. Isn't that adorable? Oh my god. I was looking at all this stuff for the house.